getting a good seal on a boiler is something that's really, really important. Today on The Boiling Point, we're going to be talking about gaskets and gasket kits. Well, welcome to The Boiling Point. Today we've got Brian Grandstaff, uh, parts manager at Ware, as well as the guy behind BoilerWarehouse.com. Brian, welcome to the show. Just glad to have you. Um, today we're going to talk a little bit about um, gaskets, and we actually have a gasket kit uh, for this particular boiler. Brian, there's a lot of gaskets out there. Um, you know, if you were to just do onesies and twosies and get a handhole or get a rope gasket or something like that, it makes it a little bit tough, but you've kind of made it simple by doing a whole kit. Why don't you talk a little bit about that real quick? Yeah, certainly. Of course, we sell individual gaskets. We'll sell rope gasket by the foot. We'll sell individual handholds. We'll sell individual manuals. But for a lot of the customers, it makes more sense for them to go ahead and buy an assembled kit for everything they need to do their open and close with. Okay. And we've got, uh, you know, from Cleaver Brooks and all the different series boilers they've got, uh, to Kiwani, to, to York Shipley, uh, that uh, we have a kit here for a York Shipley. Uh, we've got kits that for all of these fire tube boilers. Okay. So it's, it's something we put together to make it easier on the customer. So you're able to just assemble everything, makes it a lot simpler to be able to do the install. They've got everything right there. They're doing this typically one, two times a year, let's say an open and close or maybe a repair or something like that. Yeah, they yeah. can actually just get a full kit and take care of it. So, um, well, what we've got today is we've got a York Shipley kit. And what we're going to do is we're going to go through each part of the boiler so that we're uh, talking a little bit about, you know, where these gaskets go on, on the boiler. So we've got our, our kit. Maybe we'll just start with the rope. Um, rope gasket here. This is a, the, the larger rope, which... Yeah, goes. we've got diff several different sizes of rope in here. Uh, and the rope gasket on the fire tube boilers is typically used to go around the doors. Um, here on this boiler, we've got two upper doors and two lower doors on the front. And you would have a uh, one size gasket for all of these doors. Okay. Uh, and they, will, they should be cut out pre-length for each door. Um, so you can really take uh, the spray adhesive that we supply. Uh, we'll have some spray adhesive. You can kind of spray it, tack it up, hold it in place, and put your doors on uh, for your front. Um, we also have, uh, uh, for the front on this York Shipley, we have a flexitalic handhole uh, gasket for uh, the front tube sheet because okay. there's actually a handhole down here. Okay. So at the front of the boiler, We'll supply you with all your gaskets here, your, uh, your handhole for your tube sheet, uh, and that'll give you everything to close up uh, the front end of your boiler. Now notice on the Flexitalic um, that it's you know, more, of a, more of a metal type of a, of a gasket. Um, yeah. what, what is the difference between that and maybe, you know, we'll just talk uh, a minute a about handholes. Yeah, it's a little bit more pressure resistant. It's a little bit more temperature resistant okay. um, for, for the, your, your tube sheet up here that's going to be, you know, under that thermal stress. Uh, we typically put these in here for a little bit more longevity uh, okay. for, for the front of the tube sheet. Okay. And that adhesive, I mean, it's something that just really, really makes it a lot simpler than trying to mess with the rope falling off. Yeah, and so, so. If, if you've ever dealt with caulk or anything like that, you can caulk the gasket up. It gets kind of messy and gooey. It's right. good. It's good. The, the spray adhesive our guys like a lot because you can just spray it up there. It tacks up a little bit. You can set your rope right there and it'll hold in place and you don't have to worry about uh, the caulk drooping or anything like that. So it's, it's pretty nice. We also have um, McDonnell Miller gaskets. Yeah, we've got some uh, McDonnell Miller 150 gaskets, which is one of the standard gaskets uh, for all the fire tubes. Um, generally, we'll, we'll supply two of them. Uh, you'll have uh, one for your primary low water cutoff and then possibly a secondary uh, if your boiler has a secondary. Okay. Some, some customers don't have it, but we put it in the box just to make sure you have what you need Okay. Uh, in case you do. Okay, and you've got your uh, handholds for the side of the boiler, right? Yeah, we've got uh, some neoprene topagi uh, handholds, uh, handhold gaskets for all of your side handhold plates. Uh, you'll have like uh, four or five on the sides. You might have two on this side, two on this side, maybe two on the bottom. Mm -hmm. uh, and that's what these are for. They're, okay. they're made for those, those uh, easier access handhold plates than this, front, this okay. front plate. We may be doing an episode on how to put those in and, uh, later yeah. on. I think that would be a really good uh, show. So, sure. Okay, I've got some larger uh, Tapaji gaskets. 
as well. What, what do those go to? Yeah, these are your manway gaskets, and typically you'll have a uh, port where you, you know you can kind of stick your head in the boiler to inspect things, mm -hmm. and usually it'll be on the top of the boiler. Um, sometimes they're positioned in different places, but uh, we'll supply you with two of these gaskets. Um, most boilers have have one manway, but uh, we'll we'll have it this in here just in case you have two okay. or you need a spare. So. Uh, we'll supply you with two of those gaskets. All right. Well, we've moved to the rear of the boiler and we're going to talk about uh, three spots that actually need some more gaskets. We'll first start with the blanket. Mm -hmm. Brian, where does that go? Uh, the blanket we'll use on the front face of this refractory. Uh, you'll run it right here. What you'll do is you'll, you'll put a little bit of the spray adhesive up, let it tack up, set the blanket up, and run it along the, the refractory. And that gives a good place for the door, the door refractory to seal against this so you don't have any flue gas leakage through here. Okay, all right, good. And then we have some more rope back here, I believe. This yeah. one here, and this goes, what, along here somewhere? Yeah, yeah, what that'll do, this is actually for the doors, for the, uh, the bolted on doors that we, we've got removed oh, here. Okay. And the same thing here, you'll take a little bit of that spray adhesive, spray it up here, let it tack up a little bit for a second, and then you can, you can put a piece of your rope up here and run it along the, the outside on the underside of the, these bolts okay. for both this bottom section and this top section. The section's top. done the same way. Okay, yep. all right, good. We've got one other thing here in the box, and that is the refract refractory. Yeah, we'll give you, uh, usually with our kits, we'll give you a small, um, what we call our 15 pound bucket of uh, RAM refractory. Mm -hmm. It's like a, uh, it's the consistency of like a triable, uh, concrete okay and what you can do here is if you've got some you got some chi chips uh, on your refractory where, where it's not quite smooth some of the stuff is falling apart some small sections you can take this and trowel it on and and patch these sections of refractory okay. you can also do that in your target ring okay. uh, around your burner if you need to crawl in there and and kind of clean that up sure so sure. yeah I mean that's we will we'll supply you with with the bucket of that and then if you need more, we've got some bigger buckets that we sell separately. Okay. But uh, that usually does the trick for just a standard open and close. Okay. All for for deep cracks. Yeah. Right? I mean, nothing like real surface cracks, but typically yeah. for a deeper crack, yes. right? Okay. Yes. All right. Well, all of this um, comes in the kit. You certainly can, can buy it individually, but, man, it makes it a lot easier. So Brian Grindstaff's man to call. Um, you know, give us a call at any time to talk about the gasket kits, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Well, appreciate Brian stopping by. Now you know a little bit about how you can make your life a lot easier using that gasket kit. Make sure you like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter, and if you don't mind, share the videos and maybe even subscribe to that YouTube channel. We appreciate you stopping by. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.